First up, thanks everyone for all your kind comments on the designs. I'm glad most of you seem to like them, and some of you ordered a trivet or two, which is even better. In fact, we've had so many orders, I'm afraid we've hit a small problem. I ran out of the rubber tube for the feet. I've ordered some more, of course, but seeing as it's coming from China, it could be a week or two. I apologise for the delay. Please be patient. I've also had a huge response to my request for designs. I have spent 10 hours so far looking through them and responding to the emails. My typing fingers hurt. I've had some lovely suggestions though and I'm very grateful. I just wanted to say a few things about designing for the plasma cutter though. Which of course I should have said <laughs> originally but I didn't. Sorry about that. So first up a plasma cutter doesn't do tones or shading. It can't cut halfway through something or leave just a mark. All it does is cut all the way through the metal sheet and then move around. So it's all or nothing. Either there's metal or there's nothing. So that's why a design like this one wouldn't work even though I really like it. And this one wouldn't work either this is a casting on different levels, so it's a totally different approach. And this one works on paper, or as a carving, but it would just fall apart if I made it with my machine, because there's nothing to support some of the parts. And this one is made of overlapping layers. Again, that's just not possible with my machine. And here's another thing, the cut itself is not fine. It's not like drawing with a sharp pencil. It's more like drawing with a big old felt tip pen just can't do fine details at all. A laser or a printer can make incredibly fine lines, but a plasma cutter's kerf, that's the width of the cut, is about one and a half millimeters. Well, mine starts like that and quickly gets wider as it gets used. These tips wear out in no time and the last stage is a big ugly wobbly line that doesn't really cut through. That's not the machine's fault, it's just the nature of the way these things cut. This is the flame out of a new tip and 20 minutes later it looks like this and the tip needs replacing. One of the things that wears out the tips is the piercing. Each time it has to burn through the metal it damages the tip. So a design with lots of holes works out more expensive to cut and takes much longer too. Now this design has just two piercings, the inside and the outside, whereas this one as dozens. So all that means that the designs need to be simple, without small details, without shading, without overlaps. But that doesn't mean they can't be effective. This is a swan I designed a while ago. It has just two piercings, one for the eye and one for the outside perimeter. And it's really simple, but I think it works well as a sort of shape. And the simpler the design is, the more you get to see of the material you're using. Even boring steel sheet isn't boring at all when you look up close, especially when you highlight the edges with the cleanup. So while this design worked well for a printer, it's too complicated for my plasma cutting machine. This design does work, I think, because the basic shapes, the silhouettes, if you like, are recognizable. Here's another example. We can see what this is because we're given lots of information in the picture. There are lines and tones and colours. But when we turn it into a simple silhouette, it's not easy to see what it is at all. That's why some shapes work well, because they are recognisable even in silhouette. And that's why I was impressed by this one. I thought of seals myself, but I dismissed them as being too blobby to work <laughs> as a shape. I mean, no offence to seals, but they are sort of a blobby shape, aren't they? But this has been drawn so well, we can see what they are. The problem with them is that if a ring went around them to hold the trivet legs, then the distinctive nose would be partly obscured. I'm thinking about rotating them so that their backs could touch the outer ring, but then maybe I won't have the ring at all and just use the back flippers for legs. Anyway, that's something I'm working on. Lots of them just need a loads of work to simplify them and sort them all out. So I'm not going to do them all. I might do one or two 
And of course, I don't want to work with somebody else's drawing or design from the internet. That's just cheating. Um, I'd rather work with your drawing or my drawing. And so between us, we'll come up with something new and original and that works. OK, so um, please keep them coming if you like. Uh, just remember all those restrictions. OK, <laughs> thanks, guys. Off you go. Go and get your pencils. We felt it pens, maybe. Okay, cheers now. Bye.